For decades, Iran has had one of the worst human rights records in the world. The Iranian regime has persecuted Baha'is, Christians, and other religious minorities. It has outlawed homosexuality, a crime punishable by torture and death. The Iranian regime has brutalized and murdered its political opponents. And to spread its influence and radical ideology, Iran has sponsored some of the world's most dangerous terrorist organizations, like Hamas, Islamic Jihad, and Hezbollah. All of these violent Islamist organizations receive funding and weapons from the Iranian regime. Iran has also provided arms and support to Syria, even as the Syrian regime has attacked civilians and massacred thousands. For years, the alarm bells rang and warned about the dangers of a nuclear-armed Iran. But world powers were impotent. A decade of diplomacy and sanctions failed to stop Iran's nuclear warpath. And so the world's most dangerous weapons were acquired by the world's most dangerous regime. A regime that has repeatedly threatened to destroy Israel now has the means to do so. At a fateful moment, Israel's prime minister is hospitalized and unable to lead. Now history is up to 35 Israelis. They are ethnically diverse, ideologically divided, on a nuclear-armed submarine. Approaching the apocalypse. The last Israelis 